Would it surprise you that ketchup used to come in many colors and flavors too? It was in fact a medicine as well. Banana ketchup, also known as banana sauce, in export markets. It is a Philippine fruit ketchup condiment made from banana, sugar, vinegar, and spices. Its natural color is brownish yellow but it is often dyed red to resemble tomato ketchup. Banana ketchup was first produced in the Philippines during World War II due to a wartime shortage of tomatoes but a comparatively high production of bananas. In Filipino households, this condiment is used on many dishes like Filipino spaghetti, omelets, torta, hot dogs, hamburgers, french yummy, fries, yummy, yum. fish, charcoal grilled pork barbecue, chicken skewers, yummy, fried yummy, chicken, yum. and other meats. Filipina food technologist Maria Y. Orosa, 1892-1945, is credited with inventing the product. In 1942, banana ketchup was first mass-produced commercially by Magdalo V. Francisco, who founded the brand name Mafren which is a portmanteau of his given name and surname. Francisco sought funding from Terso T. Reyes to expand his business and therefore the Universal Food Corporation, UFC, now a brand under Nutri Asia, was formed in 1969. Thank you very much. Isn't it interesting? Banana ketchup itself. Have you tried it before? Are you looking forward to try it? Please share your thoughts about it with us. Now let's discuss about tomato ketchup. Ketchup has been around the world for centuries, beginning in China, Vietnam, or coachup, which was basically a fish sauce. This fermented sauce was made from fish innards and soybeans. Also, it was salty and had a pungent smell. By 1736, the sauce had some more twists in the recipe. People started making it by boiling stale beer and some anchovies, which were fermented and later relished as a sauce. Then this recipe went through further changes when sailors took it to England. There, it went through several other experiments. British sailors later brought this creation back home when it was modified with walnuts and mushrooms. It wasn't until the early 1800s that it started to take on the form of tomatoes through a horticulturist in Philadelphia. The Aztecs used to believe tomatoes had powerful magical properties that could ward off evil and cure diseases. While in the 16th century, Spanish conquistadores brought tomatoes to Europe where it eventually became a staple of Italian cuisine. Hmm. Hmm. The first known published tomato ketchup recipe appeared in 1812, written by scientist and horticulturalist, James Mees who is also credited with inventing tomato-based ketchup. James Mees, 1771-1846, was an American scientist, horticulturist, and medical doctor from Philadelphia who published the first known tomato-based ketchup recipe in 1812. The term ketchup first appeared in 1682. Ketchup recipes began to appear in British and then American cookbooks in the 18th century. Mises' innovation was the addition of a tomato base, which has become the ubiquitous form of condiment in the United States and Europe. His ketchup was probably more in keeping with tomato sauce developed in England by Alexander Hunter and used by Maria Eliza Rundle in a cookbook that was published in Britain and America. He may have also been exposed to the sauce consumed by French Creole refugees from a war in Haiti. His recipe involved spices and brandy, no sugar or vinegar. He also called tomatoes, love apples the term used by the French. Thereafter, in 1824, a ketchup recipe using tomatoes appeared in The Virginia Housewife, an influential 19th-century cookbook written by Mary Randolph, Thomas Jefferson's cousin. Tomato ketchup was sold locally by farmers. 
Jonas Yerkes is credited as the first American to sell it in a bottle. By 1837, he had produced and distributed the condiment nationally. In the United States, mushroom ketchup dates back to at least 1770, and was prepared by British colonists in the 13 colonies. The Webster's Dictionary of 1913 defined catsup, aka ketchup as table sauce made from mushrooms, tomatoes, walnuts, etc. As the century progressed, tomato ketchup began its ascent in popularity in the United States. Shortly thereafter, other companies followed suit. F. J. Heinz launched their tomato ketchup in 1876. American cooks also began to sweeten ketchup in the 19th century. Tomato ketchup was popular long before fresh tomatoes were. People were more willing to eat tomatoes, as part of a highly processed product that had been cooked and infused with vinegar and spices. It really was popular at this period. Heinz tomato ketchup was advertised as the blessed relief for mother and the other women in the household, a slogan which alluded to the lengthy process required to produce tomato ketchup in the home. With industrial ketchup production and a need for better preservation there was a great increase of sugar in ketchup, leading to the typically sweet and sour formula of today. In Australia, it was not until the late 19th century that sugar was added to tomato sauce, initially in small quantities, but today it contains just as much sugar as American ketchup. It also only differed in the proportions of tomatoes, salt and vinegar in early recipes. Henry John Hines, born October 11, 1844, Pittsburgh, U.S., died May 14, 1919, was a U.S. manufacturer whose highly successful prepared foods company Heinz Company, INC became famous for its slogan, 57 Varieties. Heinz became interested in selling foods when he was a child. By the age of 16, he had several employees working to cultivate the hotbeds he had built and to deliver his produce to Pittsburgh grocers. His first company, a partnership with two other men, formed in Sharpsburg, in 1869 to prepare and market horseradish, sauerkraut, vinegar, and pickles, failed during the business panic of 1875. A year later, however, with his brother and a cousin, Heinz reorganized the business in Pittsburgh. By 1905 it became the H. J. Heinz Company, and by 1919 it had more than 6,000 employees and 25 factories. The slogan, 57 Varieties, was invented by Heinz in 1896. Even though his firm was actually then producing more than 60 products, including its famed Heinz ketchup, first sold as catsup, in 1876. He reportedly chose the number 57 because 5 and 7 were his and his wife's lucky numbers, respectively. There was a massive craze around tomatoes, which had become the first superfood, with the thought that it would cure indigestion and other stomach ailments. There were even ketchup pills, and the fad continued well into the 1850s. Ketchup was used as medicine. In the 1830s, tomato ketchup used to be sold as a medicine, claiming to cure ailments like diarrhea, indigestion, and jaundice. It was fascinating for me to recently learn that ketchup was once sold as medicine. Long before this ubiquitous condiment was used in fast food meals and backyard barbecues, it was part of an ancient Chinese recipe to ferment seafood into a salty savory sauce that physicians at the time believed to be medicinal. The idea was first proposed by Dr. John Cook Bennett, an American physician, in 1834, 
who is said to sell the recipe later in form of tomato pills. All of you know that tomatoes are a vegetable, right? Dot. But, botanically speaking, they are fruits. However, tomatoes are treated as a vegetable in the culinary realm. In fact, they are the second most popular vegetable, after potatoes today, suggest some estimates. Now, let's turn on the time machine and go back by some 200 years ago. Back then, tomatoes used to be found in a flower pot rather than on a dinner plate. Gardeners would grow ornamental tomatoes because they thought these looked interesting, but few thought to actually eat them. Modern ketchup emerged in the early years of the 20th century, out of a debate over the use of sodium benzoate as a preservative in condiments. Harvey W. Wiley, the father of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, challenged the safety of benzoate which was banned in the 1906 Pure Food and Drug Act. In response, entrepreneurs including Henry J. Hines, pursued an alternative recipe that eliminated the need for that preservative. Catherine Bitting, a bacteriologist working for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, carried out research in 1909 that proved increasing the sugar and vinegar content of the product would prevent spoilage without use of artificial preservatives. She was assisted by her husband, Arvel Bitting, an official at that agency. Prior to Heinz, and his fellow innovators, commercial tomato ketchups of that time were watery and thin, partly because they used unripe tomatoes, which were low in pectin. They had less vinegar than modern ketchups. By pickling ripe tomatoes, the need for benzoate was eliminated without spoilage or degradation in flavor. But the changes driven by the desire to eliminate benzoate, also produced changes that some experts believe were key to the establishment of tomato ketchup as the dominant American condiment. The market leader in the United States, 60% market share, and the United Kingdom, 82%, as Heinz tomato ketchup. It's the most popular ketchup used in these places. In fast food outlets, Ketchup is often dispensed in small sachets or tubs. Diners tear the side or top and squeeze the ketchup out of the ketchup packets, or peel the foil lid off the tub for dipping. In 2011, Heinz began offering a new measured portion package, called the Dip and Squeeze Packet, which can be opened in either way, giving both options. Some fast food outlets previously dispensed ketchup from hand-operated pumps into paper cups. This method has made a comeback in the first decades of the 21st century, as cost and environmental concerns over the increasing use of individual plastic ketchup tubs were taken into account. In October 2000, Heinz introduced colored ketchup products called Easy Squirt, which eventually included green, 2000, purple, 2001, mystery, pink, orange, or teal, 2002, and blue. 2003. These products were made by adding food coloring to the traditional ketchup. By January 2006, these products were discontinued. Banana ketchup, also known as banana sauce, in export markets, is a Philippine fruit ketchup condiment made from banana, sugar, vinegar, and spices. Its natural color is brownish yellow but it is often dyed red to resemble tomato ketchup. Unfortunately, some of these copycats simply sold laxatives with no trace of tomatoes. They also made wild claims that their pills could cure everything from scurvy, a condition caused by vitamin C deficiency to brittle bones. Due to these false claims, the ketchup medicine empire collapsed in 1850. Hey guys, if you've made it this far, Please leave a like on our video to encourage more content from us. Subscribe to see more interesting videos. Don't forget to share to your loved ones and comment your thoughts too. Check out our other videos for more interesting stories. See you in our next upload.